So it has been um, uh, quite the ride for Haruhi Suzumiya so far. Oh, I tell you what, uh, she 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 is she's one wild gal, isn't she? She sure is. Um, this is episode three that we've checked out. Exactly. And for, some reason we bounced in. Uh, for those of us who, uh, just a quick reminder, this is the release date rather than the chronological episode Correct. sequence. So this is broadcast order as and opposed to uh, uh, chronological order, if you will. So is it just the first three episodes that swapped around? Oh, no. So the whole thing <laughs> kind of shuffled because yes. of that. So what they do do, which is kind of nice, is um, so the, these three episodes are in order. Mm -hmm. So after episode zero, if you will, uh, the next three episodes are all chronological. And then we're going to start skipping around again. So uh, we start the episode with a bit of a, a uh, recap of previous episodes. And oh, um, yes, whack. <laughs> as a Kion describes an idea. <laughs> Kion describes this as his, uh, so starts his never-ending hell, <laughs> which I think is uh, <laughs> not uh, completely uh, 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 inaccurate. Um, and so uh, we start the episode, uh, Ryoko shows back up, this sort of girl who keeps coming in mm -hmm. and out, just sort of saying hi and, and uh, being there. And there's that, I just got to show that again. Oh, um, I love that. Because uh, Haruhi hasn't really known what to do with herself. <laughs> and she's been really confused. And boy, does she <laughs> <The> smile. <laughs> she is confident now. Yes. She, 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 she's, she's found Some her purpose. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so she needs a, a mysterious transfer student, which sadly has not appeared yet. Hmm. Um, every, every anime has got to have a good transfer student. Right, mysterious exactly. Mysterious transfer <laughs> student from somewhere. <laughs> and something we see um, uh, a lot in this episode, which I don't know if they focus on too much, is food. Um, mm. And there's there's a lot of of time spent really showing different uh, kinds of food, and we see I think this is Tanaguchi. I'm not I'm not sure if that's his name. Uh, Kion's friend eating uh, some tempura shrimp, um, and we, we really get some some wonderfully detailed images there of that uh, of him Chomp. butting the shrimp. Yep, chomping. <laughs> <laughs> throw in my own sound effect. There we go. <laughs> SOS Brigade. She's yeah. even got she's even got the the cone there the <laughs> the desk uh, emblem as a I, I I love her um, her pose here that sort of commanding standing on the desk <laughs> the brigade leader <laughs> <laughs> it, it must be, I I think it's trying to get across that um, uh, general in the battlefield I'm the commander <laughs> I'm <laughs> meditating before we go out <laughs> exactly um, but uh, she realizes you know what they need a computer. They, they already have the coffee pot and every, the teapot and everything. <laughs> even, they need a computer. <laughs> they're even, I, I know this is uh, this time, uh, they're even drying herbs behind her. <laughs> I don't know why they would be doing that, what that's a reference to, but hmm. <laughs> there's a bit of everything in this room. Hey, she's practically moved in there, no? <laughs> exactly. That was a great line from this. That is, do you want to live here? <laughs> And so, so we mm. need a computer. <laughs> so she what do takes we do? the lead. <laughs> I'll just go over here. <laughs> now this was the somewhat infamous scene, um, Computer Club, uh, in in the, the original release where there were some animation mistakes. Oh. Um, so if you have this fan subbed, uh, you probably have the uncorrected version of the animation here. Uh, mm. they, they missed a few um, images of Mikuru here and there, and they had to go back and, and edit her back in. Um, sometimes the window, the curtains were open when they shouldn't have been. Um, so everything had been nice and fixed here for this release. Wow. Um, but uh, yeah, so so here I think is the one point where people might have an issue with Haruhi, the character, uh, because her, she, her tactics are very uh, unorthodox and justifies the means. <laughs> yes. <laughs> here. I'll get a computer this way. <laughs> You're grabbing. <laughs> yes, I, I will make you sexually. Mikuru's <laughs> yeah, reaction is wonderful. Oh, the she photo kind of fates. <laughs> <laughs> she, then she shoves him on. <laughs> <laughs> snap, 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 snap. The look of horror of the other students. <laughs> <laughs> so she basically fakes a sexual assault to get a computer, which... <laughs> And, and, I'm uncomfortable with, and and she refers to to her to her colleagues as henchman number one and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bit full of herself, a bit um, just not really paying much attention to anyone around her, other than uh, trying to get what she needs, what yeah. she wants, I should say. <laughs> um, 
this and, here's how it goes then <laughs> blackmail what's funny too is her her almost impatience with them that she you know not only is, is she she insisting on this she's like well just come on can just take care of it just do it just do it for me um it's just complete she, she just doesn't want over. a computer right <laughs> She, she wants, wants the best the computer. Best computer. <laughs> and she's not going to just take their word for it either. Exactly. She brought a list. <laughs> she's prepared. She planned for this. She's ready to go. <laughs> and even though they recommended this one, she wants... Mm -hmm. The best one. That one. <laughs> so. so. Oh, <laughs> no. But they're also horrified. No. Not the one we just bought. But this isn't, isn't even the end because uh, they take it back. He... Uh, she gets them to install a uh, a, a, a Ethernet cable all the way through a landline. And then uh, Chon goes back to comfort uh, poor Mikuru, who's oh, sitting there. Poor girl, you poor have thing. been used <laughs> to get this computer. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but well, but she's okay with it, yeah. which is kind of strange. Yeah, very. She uh, she it, it, and then she starts saying some weird things. Very strange things. Talking about the time frame and the timeline, at, and at that point, I I suddenly said, "Wait a second! Wow, hmm. she may, she might belong in this club." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very strange. So he goes on to make the computer. I should point out this came out in I'm thinking 2008, if mm -hmm. I'm correct. Um, so the website they develop is not what we're used to today for in terms of websites, but he builds a very a simple website for her. Um, <laughs> it's a flat screen. It's a, it is a flat screen. That's true, because um, it's the new computer. So, <laughs> um, and then Yuki kind of makes her move, and I think it's the first time we've seen Yuki actually take action, isn't that, it? That was that was interesting. She she's uh, she she takes takes initiative and gives him a book, mm -hmm. and the book was um, I believe it is Hyperion. Hyperion. Uh, I'm double, double checking there. Uh, that looks correct. Uh, which, if I'm recalling now, I'm I'm sure folks have done a lot of research into this. Um, I know there was a science fiction novel called Hyperion. Um, I'm not sure if this is the a reference to that. Yeah, the, the Dan Simmons Hyperion novels, hmm. uh, which is a science fiction novel, um, which I believe. Oh yes, I've actually read that book. As it happens, um, which is about this. Uh, a bunch of people who go to visit this super powerful being who can kind of grant wishes, hmm. uh, and they they have various interactions with that being to try to to resolve various issues they have. Um, again, I'm I'm not sure if uh, that looks like it would be. Yeah, I, that is actually the cover of Hyperion. That's amazing. Um, yeah, and now it makes me wonder. Maybe I should read the book before <laughs> the next <laughs> next episode. You, you certainly could. Um, so yeah, it's a um, so it's, it's interesting that she would give him that novel, um, and she kind of wanders off. <laughs> She's a girl of very few words. She is. Um, uh, does this girl even go to class? I guess <laughs> that's a great line. <laughs> <laughs> does she even go to class? Uh, so we get a little interstitial here with uh, with this, which I think just underscores the zaniness of Haruhi when she comes in with these outfits. <laughs> oh, love, she locks the doors, and everyone reacts. Like, oh no! Locking the door—that's a sign. <laughs> and I saw more of those herbs now. The, the upside yeah. down, thing in there, drying them out. Yeah, mm. they got their projects. Um, she, that she, outfit. She's so happy. So she pulls out a bunny girl outfit. <laughs> um, and for those of you who are anime fans, you're familiar with the Otaku no video bunny girl outfit. Mm -hmm. um, this goes back a long way in anime as as a, a signal. But there's also another ears. Organization <laughs> that uses bunny girl outfits that mm. we might be familiar with. Folks in Japan will be also familiar mm. with the, the Playboy <laughs> Bunny, probably. Um, yeah, <laughs> and Haruhi just starts to strip her. Um, Whoa! <laughs> she, she literally says, uh, "Shut up and strip. Quit struggling." <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and strip. <laughs> oh gosh! So, oh my! John beats cheeks, so to speak. <laughs> um, so here, here's the thing: they're going to go out and distribute leaflets wearing these things. The idea that oh, they're going to get away with and, that, and and not not just does she distribute outfits, but also she has the 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 purpose, the mission uh, mm -hmm. of the group. Oh yes, which exactly. Was, which was very unusual, <laughs> and. and it, 
we find out a little bit later on what that includes. Yes. <laughs> so she's trying to find all of the... Uh, I gotta say, it is a sexy outfit. It is, it is a very sexy outfit. They're, they're both definitely sexy outfits. And, and, and <laughs> she drags Kion, her along. Yeah. You're <laughs> along with me. Come on. We're going. And, and poor Kion. And here's another um, moment where we might, might have an issue with Kion where he, he, he can't bear to not let Mikuru do that. Oh. And then... <laughs> He's left to clean up. Left to clean up the underwear yeah. and everything, and it's still warm <laughs> from the body. And he notices he he sees the mm-hmm. the the uh, the purposes, which include we only accept mysteries that freak us out, <laughs> not just mysteries, but mysteries that freak us out. <laughs> she has gumption. She she only wants the really important mysteries, not a normal mystery, but no, the exciting ones. Exactly. <laughs> And the teachers come and, and haul her off, and then that's just I'm, not going to work. Who would have thought, you know, I know. a girl dressed in a bunny suit out in front of the school? <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, and, and then. It would have got my attention. It sure would have. <laughs> yeah. So he's trying to get a reputation. Ryoko notes this. Um, poor Haro, he is bored. I don't, I don't can't really say poor Haro. <laughs> but then Yuki says, Did you read the book? And he'd almost forgotten about the book. The book, oh. That's right. And so she asked him to read it. Tonight. Tonight. Immediately, as soon as you get home. Yeah. Which was kind of insistent. I was thinking, it was. well, that's kind of pushy. You just gave me the book. How I am know. I going to read it that fast? And then you find out that he that, uh, there's a message in the book. As he flips through. He flips through. There's, yeah, there, it, it a falls bookmark down. falls out. It reaches down. Oh, meet me at the park. Me at oh, the dear. Park. So, uh, um, and of course, the implication Oops. is... She was probably there last night. Uh, Ah, she gave me this yesterday. Yeah. And so sure enough, she was waiting. And it's got a time. Yeah. Location. Oh, poor poor thing. Oh, you you weren't here last night, were you? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Which, to be fair, that's a pretty darn subtle hint. I mean... It is. (laughs) It is. That's expecting that he's going to read it immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. for, well, for me, it takes years before I get to <laughs> something somebody gives me sometimes. On the other hand, given how much Yuki loves books, she probably assumes that as soon Everybody as you get a book, devours the book. Right, yeah. immediately. As she's always reading. It's the literature club. What do you expect? Exactly. And so she invites him into this building and goes exactly. up. And there's nothing in this room there's except this for... Room. Except for a, a tokatsu. A tokatsu. Um, and that, yes. that, that's, that's an interesting thing. The, a short table mm-hmm. with the cloth that mm-hmm. goes over it so you can mm-hmm. kind of tuck underneath and yeah. warm in winter. Yeah, ah, little cozy. heater under there <laughs> so it keep you nice and warm. Um, and she 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 she, she, <laughs> she gives him tea. Yeah, she serves him tea. And it looked like and green tea. And she serves him tea. And she serves him tea. Um, and he drinks it. And he drinks it. And he drinks it. And then he drinks it. And then he drinks it. I'm thinking the guy's got a steel bladder. <laughs> <laughs> so there are two things to note here. And... Um, um, uh, one, I'm not sure if it's a reference, the other I'm pretty sure it is. So when they first come here and we see that her room is bare and empty, that's actually a, a reference. Uh, it's a reference to a certain Tenchi anime series, t- TV series, which we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Um, well, you and I haven't seen yet. I'm, well, anyway. Collectively. Um, yeah, correct, collectively. Uh, you, Ten- viewer, haven't you, seen you, it. You, 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 Go see you it You probably have not. Uh, uh, which, which Tenchi series? It's called Tenchi in Tokyo. Tenchi in It is Tokyo. the second uh, Tenchi series. And one of the characters has a, a this sort of blank room. And that's a hint as to who the character is and what's going on with the character. So I'm not going to spoil it, but if you guys have seen Tenchi in Tokyo, this is sort of a, a callback to you. Anyway. But then the style of the show changes. Mm. Um, you'll notice how it gets this very um, washed out art style to it <coughs> and uh, uh, things start get start getting sort of um, not centered anymore and you get this odd sort of um, electronic soundtrack in mm-hmm. the background that this sort of off-key electronic soundtrack and for those of you again we can't play that for you, you can't play sadly. that for you sadly um, and again what I think this is a reference to fairly clearly is serial experiments lane Hmm. It starts mimicking the I style have a of that feel show. Of that. Yeah, and it, I was thinking that, but I didn't. It, that really brought it to my attention. And there. that's your second hint about what's hmm. going on here, um, because uh, very, very, very soon, Yuki says something. Oh, she does. <laughs> she reveals that um, she's not merely human. Indeed. 
Not merely human. No. Hmm. She was sent by the Data Thought Integration Engine, as I believe she describes it. A galactic fabrication. Yeah. Um, she was sent here to observe um, because there's something going on with Haruhi Suzumiya. And interface with the humans. Yes. She's a, a human alien interface, if you will. So I have she yet claims. to meet a girlfriend like that. No. But... But I'm looking. <laughs> <She's> looking. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so serious. And she's 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 dead serious. Yeah. Straight mm -hmm. forward. A girl of few words. Says mm -hmm. exactly. She doesn't dance around subjects, as he noted earlier. She doesn't have time for idle conversation. <laughs> she goes right to the heart of it and mm -hmm. direct. I'm not from this world. <laughs> <laughs> it's rather a surprise. Um, and of course, so my appetite is now wet. Yeah, um, and of course, <laughs> Kion has a rather difficult time <laughs> reacting to this. What, what on earth does this How mean? How do you process that? <laughs> no kidding. So that that is that's kind of the bombshell at the end of this episode of Haruhi. Um, is it a, a character claims to be an alien? Definitely a cliffhanger for me. I sure. want to see the next episode. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's it's definitely very interesting. Um, in, in watching this episode, it was interesting looking back at the sort of the pace of the episode, mm. in terms of how it's shot, how throughout the show, especially early on in the episode, you get a good amount of, if I can show you some of this, um, um, how the, the, the pacing is um, fairly languid. Mm. Um, so you, know, you get these shots, you sort of move back and forth between different things, but it's not editing really rapidly no. um, uh, until you get to just certain moments. And again, this scene very, very, you know, Despite the comedy of the scene, they're, they're playing at very kind of low speed. Um, but you go back um, to the scene with the computer club, for example, and uh -huh. uh, they're jumping back and forth pretty darn quickly. Um, you know, he's shocked. He's falling down. Actually, this is a fairly s slow sequence. I do like the angle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's sort of, sort of commanding about everyone. Um, he's he's just observing the whole thing. Just oh, here she's. Wow. <laughs> yep, she's, she, she's really doing it. She's really doing it. <laughs> she points at the camera. <laughs> um, and if we don't comply, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Clearly. Th there's, um, there's a very intelligent use of editing, I think, in this episode in terms of making sure that it's moving at a, at a proper pace for uh, what the, the story they're trying to tell. Uh, you know, it's very easy to get into a simple rhythm uh, with the show, and I think they've, they've done a good job of avoiding that. Um, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Any other thoughts on this episode? It, it, it's interesting to hear him thinking, yeah, but not necessarily always saying mm -hmm. things. I kind of would like to hear a little bit more of a difference between, between when he's thinking internally uh, and externally, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to be super noticeable just a little bit more of a distinction yeah so uh, small small <laughs> things i think that yeah in um, design but as far as the story mm. <laughs> uh, the viewer as the viewer i'm mm. i'm thinking right along with him <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah, yeah she's she, yeah okay yep she just they left their <laughs> clothes uh, yeah, I gotta <laughs> gotta take care. Gotta of that. clean it up. Oh, yeah, they're still warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what what did she expect when she was <laughs> dressing up in yeah. these outfits, going out there? Of course, teachers are gonna drag them <laughs> off. Great publicity. Mm -hmm. Uh, was that what she well, was going for? <laughs> a certain kind of publicity, certainly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh. It's 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 very interesting. Sort of drags the other girls into that publicity, mm -hmm. whether they want it or not. And Pretty much. His 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 Pretty much. his appeal for uh, <laughs> uh, Yuki, uh. She, since she didn't get to wear the bunny outfit. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Maybe seeing her wear that either. <laughs> exactly. Um, now the original Haruhi novels are all written in the first person from Kyon's perspective. So this is one of the reasons why you hear all of his voice here is to kind of get that across, uh, which I think is actually an interesting choice. Most um, novel adaptations wouldn't actually give you that internal dialogue. Oh, I love really having helpful. the internal thoughts it's great. because people always think so much more mm -hmm. than they say. Yeah. And what they choose out of what they think, <laughs> out of the options that they mm -hmm. have, 
really kind of tells about their character and their motivations. And it's interesting to see what thoughts are on the palette before he actually <laughs> makes any action or says anything. Exactly. So he's, he, he observes a lot. He does, <laughs> yes. He kind of sits back and, and sees how, it, how it's going to go. And that's just, that's just fine. But uh, yeah, interesting episode. Definitely things are moving forward. I think I'd have joined the <laughs> so <bizarre>. right. <laughs> it's definitely getting interesting for the club. I mean, it's, they're, they're going to be, be having some interesting times here um, in, in the literal sense of the word. Um, one thing I'm actually wondering is I'm looking back at this. Does she give him her book? I think so. It's not entirely clear, but I think she was actually reading that book and then giving it to him. It's I interesting. Think so. Yeah. So hmm. maybe that bookmark was a note yeah, and she was marking where she it. was. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. he was leafing through it because it wasn't yeah. exactly at the beginning or the end. That's it's true. Somewhere. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure you could go back and look into, into the animation and they'll, they will show you which page. <laughs> page number, <laughs> <laughs> paragraph. And this is one of those shows that has, as I mentioned earlier, just tons of wikis of folks diving into every detail and this frame versus that frame and what are the references and so forth. So uh, uh, definitely a fun one. So yeah, well, we'll have to see where this what what does goes. the third crumb over in the bento box mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it means <laughs> what? <not? laughs> three is everywhere. A three here, a three here. It all comes together. Oh, God, I love it. Um, moving on to Yamada's first time. Ah, Yamada. Good old Yamada. <laughs> now, last last episode, we had to split the the Yamada episode yeah. in half because mm -hmm. we ran short on time. Yep. And so this time around, we picked up the second half of that episode mm -hmm. and did another complete yes episode. Exactly. So we're going to be, we'll, we'll be caught up here. So uh, this episode uh, ends with, or uh, the second half continues with the end of the school field trip. And uh, that was episode eight, second half. Mm hmm. So we're, uh, school trip. Gotta get it. <laughs> almost over. And gosh, uh, nothing's happened. Uh, they've, they've spent the entire time here. It's uh, ending so quick. We got to do something. We yeah. Gotta have fun. <laughs> I love the teachers are always like, <laughs> the teacher's not very sympathetic. In no, show. No. <laughs> More the, the harassed the boat teacher. Ride. Yeah. Oh, so we have the typical boat ride on Kyoto. And people Ryan, say, you know, don't miss the boat. And they, they miss mean the boat. It literally. They, they just miss they the boat. They literally <laughs> miss the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the boat. Right. <laughs> and so one of the things that'll come and commonly happen on these things is if one person's left behind, they have to charter a, a a taxi oh, for or a class it's inconvenient the yeah. teacher gets stressed and mm -hmm. everybody has to play catch up around their Come yeah. on, you guys so fortunately uh, a, a boat was chartered for them to uh, to catch up all alone which means they get their well, little time almost kind of, yeah, sort kind of. Of. <laughs> and they both note that <laughs> and 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 <laughs> it's interesting how um, Yamada realizes now's her chance and she immediately gets embarrassed <laughs> um, and she just she kind of walks up Typical Yamada. Typical Yamada. You know, now their chance to, to do something and nothing happens. And Kosuda. And Kosuda is just, you know, he's got all these oh, thoughts oh, running in his oh, head. Oh, do I? And do he, I just, he just can't decide on anything. Um, he has that one <laughs> recurrent <that> logo <laughs> for the uh, condom. Yeah. <laughs> the manufacturing company. <laughs> Fun to see those things. It's just they, they just keep reusing. Pop constantly. up here and there. Yeah. They pass the frog rock. Yeah. Um, Sitting there like a frog rock. I, and I, I don't know what that's a reference to. I'm sure the reference is something. Um, but uh, I suppose the frog rock just sits there and does nothing, kind yeah, of like so. those two, yeah, Oops. pretty much like a bump on a log or a frog <laughs> in a rock. <laughs> and she gets mad at him and yeah. starts shaking the, starts boat, the boat. boat. And there was a they, message kids don't, kids uh, don't do this. Imitate. Yeah, <laughs> good example of some CGI on the uh, the, the train, actually. It was surprising. I thought she was gonna finally break through there, but then yeah. she just flips out about it. Yeah, she's frustrated. She, it's just, she's getting a lot more um, uh, pushy. I yeah, think. her frustration. She doesn't seem to 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 bear it out in a positive no. or constructive manner. It always seems to just exacerbate the problem that yeah. she has. And she seems to be to be lashing out at Kosuda more. Yeah, in the last couple of episodes. I, I don't know how he could not interpret that as something personal. Yeah, I know. Um, it, it, it's very odd. Um, and uh, so oh, that to, beautiful and, 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 bento and, and, box yeah, that some, made me hungry looking some at that beautifully oh. rendered bento here. Oh, I could just uh, devour. So, yeah. Some fried meat, some fried. Uh, yeah. That's that's one of the frustrating things about watching sh shows with <laughs> food in them. I look mm -hmm. at the food and I go, 
Oh, yeah, oh. I know. And now I'm hungry, and I yeah. can't eat that, yeah. but I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, I don't live in Japan. I don't have a convenience <laughs> store two blocks away that sells all this stuff, you know, at all hours. <laughs> so frustrating. Um, so, uh, yeah, they have a <laughs> um, sort of uh, more talk back and forth in the way, way back. As you're trying to figure out Joe. You know, she 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 has bought a gift for her, her brother, brother <laughs> that has to be flown back, <laughs> and she got uh, the childhood friend got Miano, food for yes. everybody, and by mistake, got something for him. Got something for Kosada, and, and it was funny her expression. Until <laughs> 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 uh, so they head back, and boy, nothing's happened. Oh, that logo is everywhere. It is, and yeah, before it, really it was inserted. blue. <laughs> in, in the previous uh, yeah. shot. <laughs> so Yamada's feeling a little blue that nothing ever happened. Uh, um, and then she discovers that Kosa is actually he's been her down. He's been tracking her yeah. on the train. How nice. But he, he he's such a kind-hearted soul. Mm. He went to help some child who got <laughs> separated. But then he gets mistaken for a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here's his chance to actually say something to Yamada and actually get now, her feelings across. But he's he's holding up the train. He's sticking his so, head yeah. out there. Get out. Get yeah. in. Do something. He's stuck in the, wedged mm -hmm. in the doors. And, and the trains don't stop. They, they, they're not going to do anything. The trains run on time. Say yep. it quick. Not gonna happen. The, 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 no. The door squish. So, so he only gives I, out the. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> so they get to cross the 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 first bit of that word. All that effort to just get out. I yeah, exactly. Oh wait. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm sorry. There's an issue with the video. And and so Kosada, of course. How am I supposed to interpret oh. that? What's he mean? What's this word? Yeah. <laughs> le, I le, I le, I. What could Ah. Your mother's sisters still annoyed. <laughs> yeah, so angry. Her friends, consoler. Yeah. What? Well, what and, could he possibly mean? <laughs> and it's pretty clear. I mean, I, I think everyone can can tell what's going on here. But Yamana starts really uh, avoiding him now. She's avoiding love. She mm -hmm. every chance somebody says something that she might be emotionally involved in any way, yeah. she deny, deny, deny. Yeah. I think she doth protest I, too much. I agree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and maybe she doesn't want to admit that to herself. That's why mm. she's lashing out against sure. him. I'm, Which, I'm sure that's true. Yeah. It, it's almost like little kids when <laughs> they like somebody and they do something nasty yeah. to the person they like. <laughs> well, well, uh, what, what? There's certainly something very childish about uh, Yamada. <laughs> uh, she's trying not to deal with it. Um, and to poor Kosuda. And, and both, so, so both of them are, are kind of, you know, not feeling so great at the end of this episode. Yeah, that was that was a tough, tough, tough ending episode. It was the frustration is just building and building. Yeah, and and their efforts just have been failing over and over mm -hmm. and over again. It's it, it, it's funny she can express to her friends her feelings. Yeah. to some degree, mm -hmm. and internally she can mm -hmm. be honest with herself. Yeah, but as soon as as soon as Kosuda is there, mm -hmm. she can't say anything right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she can't and say anything. Boy, right. is that shown fully in this in episode nine? Because um, uh, there's this little. You know the boys poll as to who's the hot girl in the class. Oh, this um, is, this was funny. All you guys who get a chance to watch this uh, and gals, mm. the outtakes are uh, uh, yes. amusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm so glad they're putting the outtakes on DVDs that's, now. That's that's, so that's one fun. of the great things about DVDs. I yeah. love all the extras and outtakes and commentaries. <laughs> I mean, it just makes that that's the extra bonus on it. Sure, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it's, it's fabulous. Um, but now I've heard I've heard this this theme before in different mm, manga and mm -hmm. and uh, or manga <laughs> in uh, anime where the guys will vote who's the hottest mm -hmm. girl in the class and it always ticks off the girls <laughs> to no end because they don't like that. But, yeah, I I oh, look at off. the ear. <laughs> yeah, kind of got those ears to be. They, they can't hear. Oh yeah, they uh -huh. can hear. yeah. They're listening to every little bit. <laughs> you bet. Yeah, there are no secrets in a in a class like this. So so Kosuda involve is now mm. involved. The guys have mm -hmm. pushed him to it. You're the tiebreaker in this anonymous uh -huh. <laughs> anonymous uh, poll. Well, mm. that kind of eliminates the anonymous side of it. And so True. he's he's between a rock and hard place, and yep. he. And he confesses he right. He confesses in front of the class and everybody, <laughs> publicly, loud. Yeah, and Miano, who's walking by, hears it. <gasps> oh, yeah. The arrows in the heart. Yeah. Oh. So this, oh. 
<laughs> this is the moment. It's, since we're at episode nine, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say this. I'm I'm gonna guessing this is act three, if you will, of the series, because now suddenly, all right, it's in the open. Yep, it's in the open. Um, the childhood friend knows about it. Miano, you know, everyone knows about it. Um, and and Yamada understandably is embarrassed. I mean, for somebody, to just yeah, that's embarrassing. That I class. mean. The, it, Subtle is one thing, among mm -hmm. friends is another. Yeah. To shout to the whole class, mm -hmm. that's that's got to be embarrassing, even if it's something that's expected. <laughs> right, exactly, yes. Um, oh, how she's taking oh, it. She, she, she doesn't like it. Oh, uh, And poor Miano is Miano. just crushed. Oh. Of course, she doesn't say it. She, she, she's sure that she's, it doesn't matter. She's so polite on the outside, oh. but I know that's eaten her. Yeah, uh, she so She has that... Unver undying love yeah. that she just can't express at all. I no. mean, Kosada expresses it badly. She can't even express it <laughs> exactly. except for food. She's good. It's true. Good with food. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> love this little moment with Kosada where he's trying to figure out what the heck is She shoots going him on. down, though. She shoots she, him she down. Does. She, she does. She does. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember the exact phrase, but the guys go, oh, that's yeah. gonna suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but he, he's done it. He's he said his he, he he's made his feelings clear. Uh, we cut back to a little little moment with the Kanajo. And now uh, Kanajo said that mm. she was going to find out who Yamada's yeah. boyfriend was and steal him. So this is the perfect well, opportunity. But, for it, her. but here's the funny thing: is that by, by Kosuda doing that, he kind of negates the whole thing because by him saying he's in love with with Yamada, there's now no chance of her yeah. of Kanajo getting she, in. She she can't. She's yeah. she's. Squeezed not, out. Yeah, totally. And it's funny, the two faces that she exhibits. <laughs> uh, sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. And then she gets a mixed up of where she's Sparkle, <laughs> Yes, I love sugar. <laughs> I think we've all seen folks like that now. Yeah. I've done that on occasion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the um, internal, external. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, the friend tells y Yamada that she, she needs to, you know, reciprocate she needs to make it clear how she feels that's a really good point in a relationship yeah. hey somebody's expressed to you mm -hmm. you got to express back yeah um you got to say something here and uh i'm gonna just can't find a way of saying it uh, so it's time to figure out what's, what to do for sports day and sports uh, day yeah yeah so for those field are, day yep so for those unfamiliar field day or sports day it's translated different ways is a um a one day um in the year when a class will do sporting events in public. Uh, and so it's out on the school grounds. Class and, competition. Yes. And uh, folks can uh, come in, folks from, from the area. Your parents often show up. Um, and it's, it's a chance to take part in these competitions and um, uh, fight, 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 so to speak. Get dressed in your athletic outfit. Mm -hmm. Do all sorts of crazy fun adventures with your classmates yeah. team building camaraderie mm -hmm. robbery robbery Com Com <laughs> robbery no. was camaraderie, camaraderie. Not camaraderie. <laughs> different thing um and so the thing about it, uh, uh field day is that you get um you know it's very specific you know you, you don't play those same same games every day you don't do those sports every day um so it, it's a special thing and so both Yamada and Kosuda are now part of that and they get a, they get a, a chance to be alone yeah, they're 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 heading up. They've they've been volunteered by the teachers <laughs> yes. to work on this. <laughs> um, so now they have to do some research on previous mm -hmm. years. And and Kosuda to his credit kind of pushes the issue. Yeah, and he comes in and says, "So I I said this. How do you feel about me? Tell me something." Um, Ooh. and she's really put on a spot. And Yamada does not like being put on a spot, but she says it. She says, "I never said I didn't like you." Which uh, I don't. Hate you, <laughs> therefore, yeah, right. Draw your own conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so flustered by this. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry again, <laughs> right? And and he's like, oh, it's nothing. And she's upset by that. <laughs> what do you mean it's <laughs> nothing? <laughs> no, no, no. I lie. I lie. It is something. <laughs> and I think a lot of boyfriends get put into that position. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to make a big deal out of it but if you make no deal out of it it's a it is now a big deal <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap exactly <laughs> i've been in a situation with friends myself you know? and it's funny he says i've gone completely oh emo over the whole thing <laughs> that was interesting a little reference there to yeah that. exactly so she kind of rages and leaves but he uh, you know, kind of rage quits 
but uh, admit he, but, he, he finds solace in that, which is a little disturbing. Takeshita. Admit it. Admit Takeshita, it. Oh, you right. find it. Takeshita. Admit. <laughs> you admit you, you, it. You, you actually have, a, you, you have feelings. You, you said you didn't hate him. <laughs> that means you like him. I'm drawing the conclusion. Yay. <laughs> she seems so relieved. Yeah. <laughs> but Yamada's convinced herself that she doesn't care for him. Ah. Takeshita doesn't buy it. No. Takeshita she is, sees is through certain. it. She knows her. Yeah. She knows her. Yeah. And so we get these wonderful... Um, <laughs> um, I, 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 I love the, the bouncing back and forth between different sort of animation styles here where you have this mm -hmm. very shoujo thing of this dramatic zoom in on the main character to really give you a sense of her, her emotions. Oh, the, the internal turmoil that can't be displayed externally yeah. without it being part of the part of the perceived directly by yeah. the other uh, characters. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great narrative device. You can show how serious the emotion is right. without, without putting it on the outside. Putting it on the outside yeah. and having it misinterpreted as mm -hmm. being a subtle response, meaning a subtle emotion. Yeah. A subtle response mm -hmm. backed by a super <laughs> explosive emotion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and you get this, this wonderful uh, uh, device where you get a you know, the background disappears and the character's just sort of standing oh. there shocked and there's even a dramatic wind blowing behind her hair uh, and then she has a complete... The, <laughs> the importance of the rest of the world and its relevance have nothing right. in comparison to the seriousness of the moment. Exactly. And, and, and I'm so glad you put that, you brought that up because that is exactly what that's saying is that you know, everything else has just disappeared. It's all about her. <laughs> Um, and then she just completely collapses <laughs> in this wonderful uh, uh, manga style of just, uh, just oh, and, and everything's done, everything's gone, she, nothing's left. And so she, she, she started to, to climb, climb the, the fence, fence at the top of the school. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. It's not that. <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, boy, it hurts. Out, so. And 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 she's really hurting. Mm. Um, poor thing. She she just doesn't know how to deal with this. Stud but brother? But it's time for stud brother. The I airline... Think, I, I think we have to call him stud brother. The flight attendant. <laughs> he is the stud brother. <laughs> Everyone, Everyone loves, loves him. him. <laughs> Everyone loves him. The guy, the girl, the behind the counter, the flight attendants. He sparkles. He sparkles. And it's also interesting here to, to note that uh, Keiichi here... Um, is genuinely charming. He is. He's a good guy. He he hasn't portrayed an evil trait yet. Mm -hmm. No. He's 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 a nice guy so far. Yeah. Uh, um. And, and he yeah. You, even if his sister is a little wacky. <laughs> <laughs> it's now, time for field day. Yeah. Now the field day had the, the <laughs> these advertisements. I noticed. And if you notice, it's an advertisement for the condom company, <laughs> and, and it's playing in the background. They actually have somebody like. On the microphone, on the field, talking about the 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 the, the, the wonderfulness thinness. of this, the characteristics of these condoms. <laughs> I'm thinking this is a high school, and they're advertising condoms based on all these different physical characteristics mm -hmm. of the condom. Yeah. Um, wow, that's very. Oh, would I say progressive <laughs> or just plain weird? <laughs> to be clear, that will not happen at real high schools. This is an anime high school. Oh, that was great. That was great. The little <laughs> the pose. The she pose. strikes the pose and she's got the serious <laughs> I'm intense on the cheerleading. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because she comes in <laughs> and that's a little serious <laughs> and it's, it's, a good, it's a good point to how the the art style changes around a lot in this oh, series I love it I, lo I love that because it gives flexibility in the stories mm -hmm. it really does yeah and I think it's important for a series it is a, a comedy with kind of this romance back and forth they can really bounce around it to stuff um, and of course Yamada runs off again um, but he's the shutter bug gotta yeah. capture everything Oh, so so Kosuda finally gets a kind of a shoulder to cry on um, with this this friend of his. Oh, is that is that uh, Takeshita's or uh, um, boyfriend? I, 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 I think so. That's who that is. Thank I think you. yeah. He just yes. Said, I, oh, that's right. Because he had a sort of a bubble like yeah. Oh, remember, <laughs> remember me <laughs> <laughs> from episode three or yeah. <laughs> um, and I think this is very a very important sort of pl uh, plot moment is to. Mm. Give um, yeah, give him a moment to let it all out, explain stuff, and, and get some good advice from somebody. Yeah, and 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 he's a, an objective observer. Mm -hmm. 
He he's not one of the classmates with different motives. Yeah. He's, he's somebody who's already got his girlfriend, mm -hmm. so he has good advice. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's, it's it's a comfortable spot to to for him to open up about yeah. the situation. And I appreciate his advice, which is basically, you know, <laughs> you shouted this in front of everybody. It's a lot for her to, to process. She's not, you know, she, she's avoiding you somewhat, but she's not making herself completely scarce. Mm. So give her some time, give her some energy. Mm. Um, so uh, yeah. there's, a, there's a bit of back and forth between... Uh, or we, we, we missed a few of, of <laughs> sister getting... Oh, yep. <laughs> uh, sister uh, getting frustrated. She just can't handle anything. She, she's either. been confronted. Do you have yeah. a boyfriend? Oh, but th th this is a um, and, and here, here's the, the the funny thing is that uh, they're sinking into this sort of pit of despair for not having a boyfriend. Mired notice they're the both mud. sinking. Neither of them have a boyfriend. <laughs> <Sinking> in the <laughs> mud. <laughs> You're not as yeah, you got the, she's in the little lower <laughs> blowing <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> but here's here's this the size. issue. Yeah. <laughs> Here's that issue. Is it both and then happen? Turmoil worlds. Yeah, yeah. Very, very manga uh, background there. Um, so what's gonna happen? <laughs> this guy. Chicken guy pops up. Um, Sparkle. So it's time for the tower race. Tower race. And I always like these. These are yeah. Good. So a couple, a couple of uh, trio girls in the bottom. Uh, yep. You get three, mm -hmm. three people at the base who are mm -hmm. the horse and cart. Yep. And then and you get the person on the top. Yep. And the object is to grab the. Uh, the uh, headband, headband yep. of the opposing team. Exactly, the opposing team. Opposing team. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Yamada and Kanajo have decided no. We're going to uh, so much for the opposing team. Yeah. We're rivals. We're rivals. We're gonna we're gonna take each other down. And uh, there's, there's this wonderful <laughs> bit of martial arts uh, sequence here, um, whereupon Takeshita, to her uh, to her credit, literally um, just. Uh, jump uh, pushes her off. Like no, no, we're done. <laughs> It's all over. And the girls are that <laughs> hurt. That hurt. Come on. <laughs> but now is the time when. Um, oh, oh yes, this, this one. This is how hilarious. <laughs> um, so uh, the, the, I always call her the little girl because I mean that's just what she yeah. is. Um, um, she's looking for her hot guy. Um, and, and, and the poor <gasps> thing, she's been looking for a hot guy forever. And the then, Sparkle family. <laughs> <laughs> and Kanajo is on her her. Um, Earth Federation uh, mobile phone, which is kind of <laughs> odd there. I don't know why they threw that symbol in there. She's trying hilarious. to get a hold of her brother. Hey, yeah. I thought you were going to show up. Where are you? Where are you? Where is he? Yeah. Trying, trying oh, to find brother, him. brother. He's, I'm sorry. I'll be with you just in a minute. And there he is I'm busy running, running along. <laughs> I'm busy running. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love the hearts. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> She's found her heart, her hot guy. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and so, so he's looking around. Stud and brother has the stud brother eyes of all the girls. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it immediately falls for him. But who does he have eyes for? Yamada. He chooses out of all these girls. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even know Yamada yet. Yeah. He he chooses Yamada. <gasps> yeah. And again, oh. this, this is that that third act. He's twist. a guy everybody loves. Everybody and look, loves. he's yeah. got a camera that's awesome. <laughs> he's got His a lens long is camera. bigger than mine. <laughs> My lens is just big deal there. <laughs> a little lens. <laughs> oh. You can do so much more with it. Oh, I can't. How um, do I compete with that? <laughs> and of course, his sister's in the background. Oh, she's seething. Oh, oh. oh. that's too much. But Yamada, Yamada turns him down. Yeah. And humiliates Why? him. Yeah. No. Smack. Yeah. All the guys. She's so cool. <laughs> she... But here's the funny thing. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Not according to mm -hmm. her public response. No. So why would she turn down a hot guy? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. How interesting. Well, that that just that, that just ticks off kind of Joe. More. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't insult my brother. Yeah. So Yamada and um and um gosh, I'm forgetting all the names now. Uh uh um, uh, 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 uh where are we Kosuda? Yeah. Yes. Um uh yeah, so Yamada and Kosuda get a moment together in the uh the, the supply closet and uh, they try to hash things out and uh Yamada, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of frustrated. Um <laughs> But she does, you know, agree to go out again. Yeah, she sparks it. Yeah, she's like, okay, let's let's do something. Let's, yeah. let's actually go somewhere. Kosuda does have to prompt 
but she's willing to do that. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, it, yeah <laughs> I, I felt a little bit more comfortable with the end of this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as it approached. Yeah, I mean, she's still there was some hope. Yeah, yeah, she, she's still <laughs> very pushy against uh, Kosoda, but at least it's it's moving forward. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, how did that end up? Oh, yes, and then of course she, she comes back for a little uh, little fan service there at the end. Um, <laughs> Shutterbugs. I gotta yeah. admit. Um, when we were finishing episode eight, like if we weren't watching this together, I probably would have put this show away mm. at the end of episode eight. It was it was tough. It I was mean, tough. I was like, oh, yeah, she's just treating him so badly. Yeah, and... there comes a point, and and it's the tough thing when you're ever doing this kind of a story where you've got a character, and it's the back and forth as mm. to you know will they won't they kind of stuff. Mm. But uh, so you, you got to push that off to a good extent, but. She became just so um, um, aggressively um, anti. Her, her ego yeah. kicked into the point where her denials mm-hmm. of anything positive in response yeah. to Kosado was almost. If I was in Kosado's shoes, I probably would have said, Look, she's obviously not into me. Mm-hmm. She insults me every single chance, yeah. and uh, I'm not getting any positive reinforcement. Exactly. Why should I pursue this crazy chick right. anymore? And that's, that's a great way of putting it. And, you know, there comes to that point where it's like, why are, why are either of these people even bothering anymore? Yeah. Um, and so, uh, so fortunately, we, we start to see some some movement away from that, which is which is <laughs> definitely welcome. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll have to see where where things go from here. I believe next episode they um, they teased is what was that about? Um, Sparkle, 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 crack, crack, crack. <laughs> crack. Um, and so, yeah, things things are definitely going to heat. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we see Kanajo and and Kosa. if her brother is in town, mm. I wonder how much of this is just to get at Yamada. Mm. How much of this is, uh, you know, because she has that crazy, wacky crush on her brother, yeah. which is got some really <laughs> been. <laughs> approach but mm-hmm. but uh who knows how long he's in town for maybe he's on uh break from well school? this brings up the interesting sort of moral ethical question if you will which is that um um if she then uses Kosada to kind of break her interest in her brother hmm. and finally get a, a real boyfriend if you will it might be good for her mental yeah. health yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> and uh her 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 further development mm-hmm. obviously she has skills in life but there are certain mm-hmm. areas where she she needs to do a little bit of growing mm-hmm. and that seems to be her area where with yamada it's confronting her own feelings yeah uh and how she um communicates those mm-hmm feelings to those who are around her because she mm-hmm. has the feelings and we sure. hear it in her internal dialogue yeah but as soon as she gets to the one that she loves, she clams up yeah. and does the opposite of mm-hmm. what she could do. And it's funny because she notices this and she says, you know, uh, when when mm. when when um, when Kosada approaches her uh, in uh, I think was it the sports shed mm-hmm. uh, and mentions that the the that uh, the kind of Joe brother and sister mm. were together and they're mm-hmm. both hot. Uh, Suddenly, Yamada's upset. Well, he, yeah. he never says I'm hot. Yeah. So, so that's something that 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 um, Kosada could probably work on is mm-hmm. complimenting her more sure. and being outward. Mm-hmm. But at least he he makes some effort sometimes mm-hmm. to explain his emotions right. and confront her. She just completely mm-hmm. does the opposite of what her emotions are. Yeah. She she's very self centered. It's a one eighty. Yeah, yeah. Every time. Um. She's very much focused on her own needs and and wants and desires and so forth and doesn't really think anything about anyone else's um maybe, maybe that'll be her breakthrough i hope so the the, the payoff of her friends counseling mm. her uh, she may not reach her hundred person <laughs> goal but she may <laughs> well considering she's you know they're, they're getting late into her sophomore year yeah. <laughs> time's a wasting was it was it what was her goal within one year or was it before um, she graduated? Before she graduated. Before she graduated. So hundred so. guys in the next And if you're in school yeah. for how many days, that's how many guys that's, per day. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, mm-hmm. It's probably better that she doesn't reach that goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she'll tire herself out if she tries to reach that goal at this point. But we'll uh we'll find out. So uh yeah. Any other thoughts on 
You might at this point. I, I'm 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 glad it's 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 moving in in a direction that's keeping me going. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it kind of worked out well that we split that last episode in half yeah. because mm -hmm. uh, the first half of it was not so bad, but yeah. after it had gotten to that point, then mm -hmm. it was a little bit. We we we'd seen the disasters, yeah. and this was just a variation on the disaster mm -hmm. amplified. Yeah. And it was good to see some breakthrough in yeah, their relationships. Yeah, it's why it's worth sometimes pushing through on an anime series yeah. that you're you're not willing to do. And do another episode or two, maybe. I'll watch it just to get every episode <laughs> to say I watched the entire series. <laughs> yeah, I, I I disagree with that um, view of doing things personally. I, I I'm I'm not one of those people, but I'm fine if people are. I, I, I try to, but I can't sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it's just, oh, I lost track of things. I got busy. Yeah. And then what was that anime I was watching? Mm -hmm. I got you know 15 episodes into it, and I wanted to get back to it. Now I can't remember the title because I've yeah. got eight of them that I'm trying right. to. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, and that's the other thing, too, is that there's nothing wrong with you know watching something and then saying, you know what? I'm not going to continue doing this for now. I may come back to it next year. You know, that's fine. But I just, nope. Nope, time to move on to something else that I'm, I'll enjoy more for now. Rewatching an anime, yeah. sometimes I see things that I never yeah. even picked up the first time around. That's true. That I was too preoccupied with certain sections of it, say the story or the art or yeah. uh, 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 the animation mm -hmm. or the voice actor who they chose <laughs> for the part. And then when I go back mm. and I, I realize I've already thought those thoughts, mm -hmm. I start looking at it in a deeper yeah. In more intense way, and and all sorts of different things come out that I never mm. noticed the first time around. Yeah, I can only take in so much the first time. <laughs> exactly. Cool. All right, that will do it for Smoke and Mirrors this time. Thank you all very much for joining us. We'll see you next week.